Hello, it's friends. Sorry for my voice, but um, I got a flu. <laughs> so, <laughs> all is closed <laughs> in my nose and everything. In this video, since I was uh, trying to make orders uh, among all the beadworks I have, I found a lot of uh, beadworks based on the square or triangle shape. I thought it can be helpful to show you all uh, these things so that you can be inspired too. And um, if you follow me on the Italian channel, maybe you already know all uh, these uh, all these creations. Or if you follow me on Facebook, because there are pictures of them. But if you are a beginner, maybe this video can be helpful, <laughs> because I want to show you all the things that I have created. Some of the things that I have created, because some of them are not mine anymore. I used to to make some gifts <laughs> with my beadworks, so. so. And um, I was saying, you can see some of the things I have made using the square pattern and um, triangles pattern. So, you can use the previous tutorial um, creating your own version of, of a triangle or of a square. I really hope this video can inspire you and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye! Look at how many of them I, I want to talk about. <laughs> now, I think it's better to start with the stars. The star is a very simple shape because you just have to connect squares together. If you saw the video, the tutorial about the triangle, not the open shape, but the simple triangle, I, I told you that um, if you make a square using just one side of beads, the square curves. But for the star, it's perfect because if you connect these uh, five squares together, like I am showing you, you can get a star. This is the this is one of my very first star. Maybe the very first is this one. <laughs> it's not very beautiful, I know. I remember I had a few colors and uh, I wanted to create something with a particular geometry with the colors, but since uh, I have just these colors, I can get very much. <laughs> and uh, this star is made with Delica Pizza size 10. This is the second star I made, and this is made with Delica Pizza size 11. As you can see, here's uh, the square, the first part of my square, the first half of my square, like it's in this way. Okay. And um, I just uh, combine the colors to get this particular flower effect on my star. It's very simple and I decorate uh, my stars at the point with Swarovski. Very easy. The last star is this one. Very small and um, in this case I push the two I pushed the two sides together uh, because I want a flat shape. In this case no but I didn't feel because the star is uh, small and so you don't need to feel uh, for the star to maintain the shape and uh, in this case I have used uh, Delica Beats size 11 very very easy very very nice and you can work um, you can play with the colors to get the very very nice effects uh, on your stars you can find many ideas on Google if you if you Google a uh, peyote star there are many many works uh, you can inspire from now let's move to the triangles I don't here start with this one <laughs> I made three of them and let's start with this one because it's the bigger one. Here there's my triangle. You can see. And I put six uh, triangles together. So I create this particular pattern. I play with the colors and these uh, are all delicate bits size 11. So a little bit small bits. And uh, I create a smaller one. These are one, two, three, four, five, six uh, triangles as uh, the one before. And um, for this shape, um, I also decided to make um, a sort of three-dimensional pendant, uh, connect 
the two faces together so in this case I made 12 triangles a very long <laughs> beadwork and then I filled the empty space between the two sides with a paper from a tissue but you can also use a sponge because the sponge does work very well for this kind of stuff then there are these triangles these are my very first triangles maybe I made them five years ago <laughs> this is the first one and they are made with Delica Beats Sides 10 at the beginning I prefer to use them um, to work with uh, Seed Beats Sides, Delica Beats Sides 10 I'm sorry because uh, they are bigger and so for me it was easy to understand uh, the pattern with a bigger bead and um, so I I remember I bought um, several colors of Delica Beats size 10 and I tried to, to create something but the color were not very much so <laughs> I couldn't create a lot of things that I really like it but I, I enjoy made this sample because um, while I was making them I understood how the peyote stitch works and that's important here I just made two triangles and connect them together like the tutorial just change the colors to get this particular effect while in this case for this shape I put two triangles together for each side of my rhombus okay this is the first one and this is the second one I connect them together and then I connect the two faces of my rhombus and so I get this particular uh, shape, very very simple and this is also made with Delica Pizza Size 10, I don't remember if I say it before another very nice shape that you can make um, using the triangle is this one here's the triangle I used two colors of beads and they are all Delica Pizza Size 11 then here at the bottom I use Peyote Stitch I decrease the number of beads with peyote stitch to create the point of an arrow okay and you can find a tutorial on the English channel about how to decrease the number of beads with peyote stitch so you can make the same shape I also use this shape not just like an earring but also like a connector for a necklace here is an asymmetric necklace as you can see because I close my necklace here so I can decide to put the necklace in the position I prefer on my neck all around my neck and the connector is the same I showed you before this is the triangle with my two colors and then I go on working on this side with peyote stitch decreasing the number of beads very very easy in this case like the one before I filled the empty spaces between the two faces of my irregular rhombus okay <laughs> and because I, I wanted this shape not to be flat and as always I used uh, a tissue from a paper or a sponge I don't remember another shape that I want to show you yes this one the this um, earrings I have showed you also in the previous video this is the triangle here and I put three triangles together at the top and three at the bottom so these are six triangles even in this case the shape, the shape, sorry, the shape is the same but you cannot see very well the lines of, uh, of the triangle that connect the three corners because here yes the line is white but here it's for a little part blue then I have two white beads and then transparent beads but this is the line and this is the other line if you play with colors you can get very nice geometry on uh, on your beadwork so using the triangle shape there is another triangle very similar to the first one and here I got this um, double pyramid <laughs> because in this case uh, this is the this is the triangle as this one exactly the same but I connect these triangles in a different way now I think it's better to say that the number of the triangles is different because here we have six triangles while in this case I put together eight triangles and so I get this shape nice I think it's very nice 
Then uh, there is uh, this sample. Um, there is a tutorial also about this earring, but it's not uh, exactly this earring because uh, the original one was a gift, so it's not with me anymore. But um, to create this pyramid shape, I just made the two faces of my triangles using two sizes of beads. The golden beads are delicate beads size 11, the black beads are seed beads size 15, and so you can get this particular pyramid shape. And I also use this shape here with this earring. I think there's a tutorial about this one also on the English channel. And even in this case, I use two sizes of beads. The lines, the white lines here, the three white lines are made with delicate beads size 11, while here for the three sides I've used just the seed beads size 15, even for the posturing the same, and on the back the triangles on the back are made with only seed beads size 15, so you can get this particular pyramid shape. Very very easy to make. Now there is a necklace that I really don't like it very much, but it was my very first important necklace. I want to show it to you. This is the necklace. You see, it's not very beautiful, <laughs> but it's close to my heart because it reminds me the first time I tried to make a big necklace. It took me many, many days uh, to finish it. And it was the first time I tried to make the crochet rope. So I remember I was so excited, even if the necklace is it's not so beautiful. For this necklace and for this triangle I have used only seed beads size 8. And I also get this uh, pyramid shape because I filled my triangle using a paper from a tissue or a sponge. And that's all. <laughs> I, I made these particular spirals on, on the surface but they are very very simple to create and for the back part I decided to fill the sides of my triangle with the full color and that's all. I just want to show you the last necklace and I talk about this necklace several videos ago. It's very very simple. I just want to tell you that in this case I started with, um, with the shape of the triangle but then I modified the shape and there is a tutorial not about the necklace but about the pattern to create the shape because um, before making the necklace I made a Christmas tree using this uh, shape, uh, this modified pattern of the triangle so you can find the tutorial about the Christmas tree and then you just have to connect these shapes together to get the necklace. The particular thing about these triangles are, is that um, they miss one side here. You can see there is a sort of V here because uh, one side miss and I work in this way and then I went back every time. So I didn't fill this space with beads and I get this shape but the concept of the pattern is the same of the triangle, so it's very very easy. Looking among all my beadworks, looking among all my beadworks is cube, but for this square I used a different pattern and if I well remember I found this pattern on a magazine five years ago because even this cube is one of my very first beadwork and um, I want to reproduce this pattern with different colors so that you can see what happened on every round so I will speak about this cube later in some other video, okay? As I saw, many beadworks I have showed you were the first things I have created so believe me, learning these two shapes gives you the opportunity of creating many things I think you will enjoy in, uh, making the samples and practicing and that's the only way to learn beading so <laughs> believe me you just have to practice and making samples and trying to give your idea a real shape so for now that's all see you soon on the next video have a nice beading bye bye